Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Stop, like, you can't do that for this. Okay. Three, two, <laughs> one. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Must Be Catchy podcast. Um, my name is the mom. You're okay. God fucking damn it. You guys <laughs> laughing. God. Trevor. This is hard. I'm not even laughing. <laughs> just, just say it. Just say the words. And it's not it must be catchy. It's must be catchy. Three, two, one. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Must Be Catchy podcast. I'm your host, Trevor Monreal. And uh, next to me, to your right, is our second host, Omidistrophic, or you can call him Alex. Uh, hey, Alex, how you doing? Doing quite well. Thank you for having me. Yeah? You having a good day so far? I just started no complaints. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. All right. And on your left is uh, Hi, or better known as John. How you doing, John? I'm doing pretty good. Not much to complain about either. Right? That's a very boring introduction. Well, I mean, <laughs> so it's the introductions. Right. What can you do, you know? Yeah, well, you guys could give me a little uh, anecdote about how your day went, you know? Uh, I mean, all I did, <laughs> all I've done today is wake up, I got on my computer, grabbed a beer, and now I'm here. <laughs> cool, cool. Well, you know? Yeah, that's pretty much me, except without the beer. I woke up, Kelsey's already gone. She has to get fingerprinted to... Uh, for a job because she's becoming a teacher, so she's getting Ooh. fingerprints it today. Oh, she's Ooh. Very nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, we can just hop right I'm into the, top. Out of the system. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, <laughs> what's uh, what's topic number one for us, Trevor? Well, I guess before we go to the topics, we can go do a big overlay. Since this is or not overlay, mm-hmm. but overview of uh, over over like the purpose of the podcast or whatever. It's kind of a okay. joke that we're just trying to catch as many eyes as possible on the podcast. So it's just going to be like, we're going to talk about whatever the biggest thing in the news is, regardless of how ignorant on it we are, and we can just talk about it. Which might be entertaining in itself to watch three people who are ignorant about most things uh, come together and talk about shit that they don't know nothing about. Most things is an overstatement. All right, well, I'm ignorant about pretty much everything. All right. Well, we have we have a lot of topics here. The thing is, a lot of them were a lot of them were rough and a little bit a little bit like bad. So we can start with uh, the Super Bowl. That's easy. The Super Bowl happened yeah. this week, and the Chiefs won. Uh, I know Alex, you won the Super Bowl. If you want, I mean, you didn't win the Super Bowl. You watched the Super Bowl. So uh, if you want to start here, uh, what, what were your thoughts of the Super Bowl? I thought it was pretty, you know, good from like the start to beginning. It was like a low scoring game. For the first half, and then when it came into the third, dude, St. Louis came out of nowhere. 49ers, they really destroyed the Chiefs, but they just lost it. So the Chiefs are really good with their offense. Mahomes is a great quarterback. He's only 24, if you didn't know that. He's 24 years old, and he's already, like, MVP. God, those fucking throws of Watkins, man. Oh, man. Dude, St. Louis old- lost it at the end, though, because the Chiefs just destroyed Wait, it's like, 20? All right, well... They play reserved, and then they're like, oh, screw it. Balls out at the end. And it balls out. They just ball out the entire fucking game. They will fucking have won, like, super hard, but not. Nah. Uh, is 24 the one year thing... out of college? Is that just one year? Is what? Is 24 one year out of college? No, uh, people usually graduate in 22-year-old. 23. So, uh, yeah, 24 is about one or two years out of college for most people. That's crazy. Um, I'm going to turn my heater off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so the only thing I know about the Super Bowl, I know two things, actually. Um, number one is that the 49ers, they, like, got an interception or something like that, and they, they like, thought they were going to win, and they, like, posed and, like, took this, like, big fancy picture in front of the end zone, and, like, <laughs> and then they fucking lost, dude. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> and then uh, the halftime show, everyone's like, oh, my God. They're shaking their asses, J Lo and Shakira. Oh, yeah. blah. I, I want I want to talk about that halftime show for sure, but also well, I want to interject with the commercials because uh, somebody in chat mentioned Baby Nut, dude. Yeah. I feel like the com- like Super Bowl commercials are getting really fucking weird. Like, the, dude, what is what is Baby Nut? I haven't seen it. It's a, okay, so Baby Nut. It's like this big thing. It was all over Twitter or whatever because like they're trying okay. to like capitalize on like the Baby Yoda meme. I mean, to, to be fair, Baby Nut is fucking adorable. If you guys want to Google Here. Baby Nut. But it's like it's like right that like the planters nuts or whatever you know like that guy, that uh, yeah, oh what's his name the fucking like old man d- nut or whatever apparently he like yeah I, I know I, I know who you're talking about the fancy one with the hat yeah Mr Peanut his, his name's just Mr Peanut and he uh, apparently they had a campaign where he died and then they but then they brought back Baby Nut or whatever 
But uh, they had to cancel his campaign because because they killed Mr. Peanut on this like on the same week that Kobe died, and they thought they thought it was too like it was too like bad PR, Ooh. so they canceled an entire like multi million dollar campaign to uh for like Mr. Peanut's dead, and they and they br- and they brought uh and they just skipped right to Baby Night. No work. People talked about Baby Night a lot. And it's like this cute picture of Baby Night. Maybe I should pull it up for the uh for the. The stream for yeah. context. Yeah, I can't believe they would yeah. do that. Murder Mr. Peanut. Yeah, but they actually yeah, kill, they yeah. actually Mr. Peanut. They actually kill here. Let me show this. Let me show this on stream. Uh, so there's baby nut everyone. I'll hold it over your John. <coughs> oh, please, oh so, God, please don't do that on stream. <laughs> Holy shit! Our podcast can be scuffed, but it can't be that scuffed. My God, dude. <laughs> But besides, I that was funny. But that, but that was someone, I guess, like someone normal. I mean, it's just obviously an ad campaign. But like, I feel like a lot of the commercials are just like they get like one famous person or like five really famous people, and they just put them there and they try to make it do like a funny skit, and then they just throw up what their product is at the end. Like, like, like you remember the, like uh, a lot of people talk about the Jason Momoa one. Do you remember that, Alex? Mm, no. Nope. Oh, well, basically they had like this, they had, like this uh, video that went viral of of Aquaman. And he, like, goes home and he, like, takes off, like, his, uh, like, arms or whatever. He gets all comfortable. He, like, actually has, like, a wig on and he's, like, bald. And he's actually super skinny and, like, like nerdy and stuff. And, uh, but I have no idea what the commercial was for. I think it was, like, for, like, home insurance or something. But I couldn't tell you the company. <laughs> but, yeah, they just had, like, this skit. They just did this skit of Jason Momoa coming home and getting comfortable by, like, taking off his muscles. And, like, like he's actually, like, like revealing that he's bald and stuff. It was Rocket, Rocket Mortgage. Rocket Mortgage. See, I, 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 couldn't tell, I couldn't tell you it was Rocket Mortgage. It just was like a weird thing with Jason Momoa. I feel like they did that over and over again. Like, there's a commercial so, with Macy Williams. I couldn't tell you what... I know, I know that Macy Williams was in it, but I couldn't tell you what it was for. You know? I feel like they're just adding, like, a lot of celebrities to these fucking, like, random skits. And then they're slapping their ad on the end of it. So what I think... That's exactly what's happening. Pulling a Japanese-style commercial. Oh, where they just have like weird ass commercials, so you remember the. Yeah. I mean, maybe. I like Japanese commercials. They're the weirdest shit ever, dude. Like, you'll have the most. Like, like it'll be a commercial for like ramen noodles, and it'll feature nothing about ramen. It's like, yeah. boom, ramen noodles, and it's like, okay, cool. No, to be fair, that is pretty. That is pretty funny, but I just, I just feel like it's it so, is. It's, it's funny as fuck. I feel like it, this is like so Super Bowl meta that it makes it a little weird. Do Super Bowl like you know they they do the craziest shit because it costs so much so they they put all this money into it so they could be the most ridiculous thing so they get all the people watching it and going back to it and talking about it you know that's what's going yeah like Baby Nut dude I'm telling you Baby Nut was huge yeah I guess you guys don't use Twitter huh I, use, I don't use Twitter no I'm, use I'm usually on Reddit I use Twitter a bunch yeah Reddit doesn't really fall for ad campaigns it's hard well no. they fall for ad campaigns but they're secret ad campaigns not like. <laughs> True. Not like super obvious the ones like on Twitter. Yeah, True. Reddit's Reddit's terrible at it, dude. Yeah, no, like <laughs> fucking uh, Reddit gets. They think they're smarter, Reddit. but really they're not. They get astroturfed <laughs> so hard. People spend like so much money astroturfing Reddit, but um, all right, we can talk about the Super Bowl commercial. Anyone else find it weird that uh, that like f- two fifty year old women were shaking their ass on like national television? No, I think I think both of them looked very hot. And- oh, so you have no, like- so you have problem with, with e girls, but you yes. Have- but you don't have a problem with two fifty-year-old mothers going out on stage and shaking their yes. ass in front of yes, like thirty I, million I have people. a problem with e girls, but not uh, performers. Perfor- oh, because e girls are performers. <laughs> no, dude, they're not. They sit there and they talk to you with a low-cut dress, and they do nothing but sit there and be like, "Oh, give me money for my looks." Okay. <laughs> Shakira and J Lo had to dance and had to be in good shape and athleticism, and they had to sing and they had to do all this for like a three, five, however long performance. And they're not just they're not just sitting there like, "Hey guys, look at my butt," you know. We have what about what about what about the what about the e girl streamers who uh, do stripping like with a stripper pole because that that takes a lot of athleticism and dancing, you know. You know, I I will concede that point because that's basically just hey. I'm a stripper, but you don't have to go to the strip club for me, you know? <laughs> so how's that? Any- okay, whatever. Let's, let's move on. Let's, let's not talk about It's that. about the content, Trevor! I feel like we didn't talk about the game too much, but, but to be completely honest with you guys, I didn't watch the game because I don't care about Neither football. did I. Dude, I, I don't give a fuck like college, about it. I watch college football whenever the Razorbacks are doing well. And when the Razorbacks aren't doing well, I don't watch college football, so... 
Right. Dude, is there anything else that, of note that we do you feel like we need to talk about about the Super Bowl, Alex? Uh, Our resident National Super Bowl Anthem. expert. National Anthem, bud. Well, well, who did the National Anthem? Demi. Demi. His, Demi Lovato? Lovato? Yeah. Oh, shit. Is that, is that bad? Was oh, it good? It was really good. Okay. Until she tried to hit those high notes and she... You know how everyone, everyone at the Super Bowl wants to make their own, like the, the national anthem their own thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If they would just sing it normally, they will have the best damn national anthem. But they don't. They always do like some weird, oh, kind of thing with their voices. Like, kind of like some vibrato. Like, like, long notes, stuff like that. They're like, oh, like, I don't know. It was good until that. I'll, I'll give it that. <laughs> good until that. Um, I had to blow up my nose. My bad. I want to, one of the best. Fucking ones I've heard in the recent years, so I'll give it that. I want to touch on what you mentioned earlier, Trevor, about Kobe. Like, where were you guys when you learned about that? Because I I remember like oh, Kobe didn't have Kobe didn't have it this week. Do, do we sure we want to like depress people by talking about Kobe Bryant? I just want to know where you guys like. I just want to know where you guys were like. I I I, oh, I, I heard about room. it. I heard about it on Twitter because I, I get on Twitter a bunch. Okay. Uh, uh, I. Mean, and I heard it in the background, because that my news going on on my TV, but all drunk out of my mind. So, mm-hmm. dude, so I was I was at lunch with my dad, mom, aunt, and um, I guess uncle in law. I don't know. And I was just on my phone. I see Trevor sent like, "Oh my God, Kobe died!" And I was like, "What the fuck?" Wait, I'm, the one, I, who, I, I'm the one who let you know that Kobe died. That's kind of depressing. Yeah, yeah, you're the one who like told me it. So you're like, you put it in, it's like, oh my god, Kobe just died. And I was like, what? So I look it up, and it was like, 30 minutes ago, Kobe died. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? And I, I told the table, hey guys, Kobe just died. And they're like, no way. I'm like, here, here's my phone, here's the news. And they're like, oh my god, I thought, we all thought you were setting up for some kind of joke. <laughs> I was like, no, Kobe's dead. And then like, why is it he, why isn't it on the news and stuff? I'm like, it just happened. And then like, five minutes after they said, why isn't it on the news? Like thirty seconds or five minutes after, some range of that, Kobe dead, and, and we're all like looking. It's like there it is, and then we're like, oh my god, this is real life. Yeah, no, I got like Kobe Kobe Bryant passing was weird. It didn't it didn't make me sad, but it did give me an existential crisis because every once in a while, like I, I just think about like death, and it really freaks me out. Like uh, Dude, same. Yeah, like uh, the fact that you just that at some point you're just not gonna like exist anymore, but like like from like your mental, like from like what that would feel like, like behind the eyes basically, and how fucking terrifying that is. But then again, I'm a Christian, so I'm I'm banking on that not happening. Either way, I'm rolling the dice. Yeah, I think if there's a um, a, I don't know what it is, like a theorem, not a theorem, but like an argument or something. It's like. Whether there is or is not a god, why not believe? Because if there is a god, then and you believe, you go to heaven. And if there is a god and you believe, then you lose nothing. You get the same rewards as if you didn't believe. But if there is a god and you don't believe, then you go to hell. So why not believe? Yeah, I mean that's one way of looking at it. Personally, my uh, my view of Christianity is a lot more open. You know what I mean? It's a lot more forgiving. But uh, we don't have to go into religion because that's uh, it has nothing to do with this stream. So uh, yeah, okay. So well, let's, let's move. Do you have any thoughts or any words on Kobe, Alex? No, pretty uh, impartial. Pretty impartial. Yeah, the memes that came out were pretty horrible, but I laughed. wait, memes happened, dude. I I only saw good stuff. There are some pretty bad memes. Oh shit, dude! I don't want to see them. Yeah, I do not want to see them. They're terrible. But okay. I left how terrible they were. Okay, so uh, let's move on to. Okay, I got, I got, I got a good topic. Okay, uh, we can go light and into, into heavy or whatever, and then we can end on light. Cause I, I, I did, I did. This. Okay, so I'll let you guys know now. I already told uh, John about this, but I did, I did a huge research thing last night on this one topic that that I would like to end on because it's, it's really funny and it's, I mean, it's not funny. It's kind of fucking horrifying, but it's funny and and uh, in some ways. But either way, um. So, uh, we can talk about, uh, now, Apple was fined this week for slowing down old phones. So, if you own a phone, an Apple phone, that is not from, like, this newest generation. I don't even know what Apple phone's the newest one. What, iPhone 10, iPhone 11, iPhone X? I don't know what it is. 
But if you don't... Some stupid amount. Yeah, but if you own a phone iPhone that is older than the newest one. You, Apple has been slowing down. Like you, every time you update your phone, it slows it down on purpose. And they just got fan for that. Isn't that insane? Yeah, isn't that fun? Isn't that nuts? It, the yeah, it's a it's planned obsolescence, right? Or is that yeah. forced obsolescence? Yeah, obsolete. It's obsolete. I don't know if it's obsolete since this word, but it sounds good. No, it's, it it is. I think planned okay. obsolescence. Uh, but yeah, they do they do that on purpose so you'd buy the newer phones. So like, I have an iPhone. I have an iPhone SE. And I looked it up. It's on the list of phones that they're slowing oh, down lol. every update. Well, it's got a fucking insane camera for like a hundred bucks. So this is what I stream my indoor live streams on. But either uh, way, I, I have a, uh, I have a Note Eight. Wait, you have it's a Samsung good. phone too, don't you, Alex? Yeah, I got the uh, Note Ten. So it's not, so it's not as personal. So it's not as personal for you guys as it is for me. But yeah, they're slow. No. They're slowing down. Isn't that, isn't that the most fucked up shit? I, I've heard that. Like the most fucked up shit I've heard a long time from like a, like like a scummy business. Uh, Dude, the thing is, so I I've known about that for years. Like that's been that's been a rumor. <laughs> that's been like a rumor for like years, my man. Like ever since I had the four, because I used to have an iPhone. The four S was the last iPhone I ever owned, and even back then it was so obvious that planned obsolescence, that slowing down old phones was happening. Because you'd get a new one, and it'd be like super quicker, but there's nothing really that big of a difference you know so i'm not really surprised that they got fined for it because i i feel like it's been a thing for so long now you know that like everyone knew and they just finally got caught yeah i mean i i feel like i knew about it like in the back of my mind like i've heard of it like i heard the rumors before but it's weird that i mean it's actually confirmed now uh, but apparently yeah. let's see let's hear I'll, I'll read the official statement by uh well not to read the official statement by apple but apparently they're saying they're doing it uh their excuse for doing it like because they argued it in court obviously they didn't want to have the fine they said it prolongs the life of the devices but i don't see how i don't see how slowing down old phones would somehow make it last longer because like what prolonged life you just again like what the battery would no just, see would just add a new battery i i I think I get what they're trying to say. Like, if they're saying prolong the life, but they're talking about prolonging the lifespan, not like the charge or whatever. But if they're talking about ex for the lifespan of it, if you slow down all processes, it does less, therefore extending it, right? That's, so, yeah, that's horrible. It's a horrible I, I agree. I agree. I agree. But I'm just saying, like, that might be where they're thinking. That's dumb. <laughs> Well, like, they're doing scummy business practices. They're going to think of a dumb excuse to do it. Yeah, true. So, I don't know. Are you, what are you drinking, man, man? I think he's drinking water. Yeah, it's water. It has a brown color on my camera when I look at you drink no, it. That's Louisiana water for you. <laughs> oh. Louisiana water. <laughs> you don't call the Red River for no reason. <laughs> Wait, aren't uh, Louisiana and... Uh... Florida and sister states? No. Do they not touch no. each other? Sister states. Do they not no, touch no, no. each other? Louisiana, no, Louisiana is, uh, touch. Louisiana touches Alabama. And Alabama, and then Alabama touches Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. As well as say, you guys are pretty close to each other, but not. I'm from the fucking, well, I mean, I'm so far away from you guys. Like, me and John are, like, literally the entire country away from each other. Isn't hey, that weird? Hey, Trevor. Yeah. Trevor. Yeah. You have that, uh, that mouse pad? Yes. Yeah, it doesn't show the states on it. Uh, I can check. I'm using it right now. No, it doesn't. It has oh. Dallas on it though, which is nice. <laughs> I'm yeah, using it. Just no states on it, man. I'm about to be super. Oh busy. yeah, I just could like look down. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, shit, dude. I could. I, I hey. look. If, if you gave me like a, if you gave me like an outline of all fifty states, I could put the states on there, like all fifty. Uh, of them. Hey, Alex. What up? Do you live in uh, North or South Louisiana? North. You said Louisiana touches Alabama, John. I thought it does. Yeah. Doesn't it touches South Mississippi, huh? Wait, no. Doesn't yeah. South Louisiana touch South no, Alabama? Touch Mississippi, Mississippi touches Alabama. Am I retarded? I was like, I, I thought you were wrong. I was like, I'm gonna. Are I'm you gonna sure? Make sure. Yeah, you, <laughs> I'm hundred percent sure. Yeah, because it touches Mississippi. Yeah, it goes Mississippi, Alabama. That's funny. Yeah. Who? Hey, who's making fun of who now, John? Well, you're still wrong. More. It doesn't look. There's no wrong more. There is. <laughs> oh yeah, right. I, Louisiana wrong. doesn't touch Alabama. There's a very slight sliver of Mississippi. My bad. Um, 
But if you lived in South Louisiana, dude, that that's like a six hour drive for me to you, Alex. I would, I'd be down to like meet up. Yeah. Ever. You guys can have a cute but romantic like, or long term relationship. Or you guys meet up on the weekends. Oh whoa. Well. But um, no, because he lives in North Louisiana, not South uh, East. The better part South. of Louisiana. Which wait, which part's better? North. Probably, oh, I, yeah. I'm, oh, I just realized my. Oh, I need to add a mic filter real quick. This might might kill the flow of the. Uh, I don't know why this changes every. This kind of fucks everything up, but I need to add a filter to my mic. I just realized that like, my mic's probably like super sensitive because of. Uh, man, I don't understand why. Whenever I made a pod, so I made a pod, a separate podcast thing, right? And. Uh, whenever I did this, it like messed up my hotkeys and it messed up my uh, mic filter. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss, then, sir. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, what's that called? A gate or a gain? Uh, noise, noise gate. Suppression? Noise gate. Okay, so noise gate is uh, it has to reach a threshold to open. All right, now I have to figure out what what threshold I want. Um, wait, mm -hmm. this threshold might be good. Can you? Can somebody go onto? Let me go to my stream and tell me if this is if this is good. Yeah, yeah. Let me mute all. Because like I, I don't want to, I don't want a whole bunch of like background audio whenever I'm talking. Oh, not when I'm talking, but when I'm not talking. So just let me know, John. I'm, I guess I'll just keep, like, rambling and talking until uh, you let me know uh, how loud or how bad it is. Seems good so far. Okay, good. I mean, I could probably talk forever. I don't really need anything in my head to uh, come up with words to keep speaking about. But uh, overall, this is probably going to start hurting my mouth if I have to keep talking. This is probably good. I probably don't need to talk anymore. This is probably probably good audio levels. Sounds good. Alright, cool. Um, Alright, we can move on then. Good, 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 good. Okay, so... Yeah, um, yeah. Mid-speak, um, it would just... It, it would, like, stop voice picking up. It, it was only picking up your voice, definitely. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, I was hoping this Apple device thing would be a lot more interesting topic, but you guys both don't have Apple devices, so you guys can't be Apple. Well, I mean, the thing is, though, I, I've, I've never liked Apple, um... Well, not never, but True. Apple to me has always been, while innovative, also a subculture not really with the rest of everyone else, right? Like most applications are made for Windows. Back when I had a Mac, uh, when I had an iPhone, it could only like – it's different than Android Play Store. Like only things that work on iOS would work on it. And then I've always kind of known about the planned obsolescence bullshit. So – a part of me has always known that Apple's just not that great of a company, at least for me. So for this fine to come out, I, I'm looking at it, I'm like, figures, and I'm glad it happened. No, oh, yeah, but, yeah. Like, yeah. Big companies are starting to kind of like fizzle out. I mean, we're coming to a stage where like a lot of their wrong movies are starting to be found out. And that's like just information age level you know, of like social media. But you also have to also understand that uh, there's things that are, you know, blind campaign like campaigns on social media that basically are meant to distract you from the real things that are happening. So maybe Apple or their, you know, disinformation, you know, campaigns. That's what I'm looking for. And that's a huge thing right now, especially with social media. So Apple might be trying to push a huge disinformation campaign here shortly or something like that. You know, you got to be looking forward to that. Like I they're taking do. the fine and like they, they they're taking the fine in the to distract from something else that they're doing kind of scummy. Well, yeah, that'd be that'd be five head. I don't think they're doing that. I don't think they'd ever want to take a. Fine. Well, I don't know, dude, because it's a big corporation and like big corporations, they have like a whole department for shit like that, right? Yeah. So uh, it might be the PR department. Oh. Yeah. So like it, it might <laughs> actually be a thing. Like I don't know. They could be using like you know like just say like. <clears throat> uh, What's a what's what's something that happened? Uh, I don't want to go into those topics, but there's huge disinformation campaigns that happen, you know, on things, you know, shit. Let's go like let's go topic of like you know with this uh, coronavirus, you know, yeah, thinking about that. Like, used to hear a lot of a lot of stuff on Reddit about yeah, like the Hong Kong protests, and now they kind of died out because of the coronavirus, you know. Yeah, and did you see that the uh, amount of People who got ill and died from the coronavirus is possibly more than what they're officially releasing. Like they got a leak oh, or something. Of course, yeah. Well, okay. Uh, I I guess I'm on this. 
Besides, let's open this because interject real quick. Somebody uh, today, this is the first victim. Change current topic. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, it's been pre streamed this entire time. Holy shit. Uh -huh. Well, this is a little scuffed. But um, okay. So oh today, um, for the first person in America has died of the coronavirus. Like, died of the coronavirus. How old were they? Uh, I don't know. I we could look it up real quick. Yeah, All right, guys. This is a, a brand new. I spell virus. Am I stupid? V i r u s. Yeah, that's what I had. It doesn't look right. Whatever. No, that's right. Okay, uh, so, so um, yeah, so so uh, posted log. Yeah, so Tencent, the beautiful people who uh, own League of Legends. If you guys know who that game, the people who own Riot Games, they own. Yeah, Tencent. fucking Tencent, dude. They own uh, everything. They own, in China. They, yeah, they own uh, PUBG. They own for, uh, Epic Games. They own Fortnite. Basically, they own everything. They, they own an Uber Damn. bigger than Uber, and they own a, own a Twitter bigger than uh, American Twitter because of China. Everything bigger in China. Do they? Do they uh, own like majority percentages into the games? No, I think it's minority. It's minority and um, minority in Epic Games, but they own like twenty five, like fifty percent or something, and they own like all of PUBG and mobile. And they own the uh, Chinese just distribution of both those games. So all the Chinese uh, side of uh, both of these. Because okay, the way the way that China fucks us over on trade and stuff is that you, if you want to do business in China, you have to like have part of your company owned by China, which is how they yeah. get. That's just how they like they grab like so much, uh, so much like intellectual property and stuff. Like League of Legends, yeah. League of yeah. Legends. Yeah. If they yeah. wanted to work in China, the biggest market, they would have to be partly owned by China, anyways. But they're fully owned by China. But yeah, but tense it's closely related to the government, obviously, because the big companies are all inter uh, interdivested with the corrupt government, which is important because Tencent owns news uh, in China too, and they released uh, they accidentally released the official numbers, and they then they edited it to the government's numbers. Is what people are saying. So you can look up. So you can look up Tencent's Tencent's official coronavirus numbers, and they're substantially like like a magnitude of ten times higher than the actual. Hey, you missed the uh, virus. Did I really? Dude, you told me this is how you spell virus. No, it's a sec. No, V I R U S. V I. Oh my god! You put virus. Nice. Yeah, it's not changing after this, even if it's misspelled. But yeah, so apparently the the official numbers are. I mean the the out real numbers are ten times higher than the official numbers, and somebody just died in the United States today. So. Twenty four thousand. <clears throat> yeah, did you Google Tencent official numbers? Yeah, the the screen grab is twenty four thousand five hundred eighty nine. Total cases also briefly displayed one hundred fifty four thousand. So no wonder it's spreading more than what it is because China is not control like they're not controlling it properly, and by not controlling it properly, they're giving them false numbers, so we can't get actual statistics. Yeah. In uh, this, this is this is the same playbook they did with SARS too, because they could because they didn't try to that hard to stop SARS and SARS got really bad too. But the coronavirus is like magnitudes worse than uh, than SARS ever yes. was. And see that pisses me off. How like, is it? Is, I, I, I feel like China is constantly lying about the most stupid shit just so they seem like the greatest country. And it's like we all know you're not. We all know you're bullshit. Like I don't know. Well, that might be too much. I mean, got some stuff Ray Ray was talking about in chat. This is interesting. There's a guy named uh, Doctor Lee that was warning the oh, Chinese yeah. government about the coronavirus. The government censored him. Oh, so he was gonna yeah, get yeah. out, and the doctor just died from the coronavirus. That's fucking scary, bro. China's just fucking scary. Yeah. And so here's the, here's the positive note about this. I mean, it, it, as positive as the silver lining is, a lot of the Chinese government. This is this is. I think we touched upon this earlier, or before, like. Before the Russians fell, like before actually USSR fell, it was because of all the disinformation and the corruption I was building up. And it took all that, like all these deaths starting to happen, then covering up key figures that were trying to warn about like some epidemic or something like that. And that's what's happening here. And a lot of Chinese are starting to now uh, look into the government's fucking false average, like the propaganda and all sorts of stuff like that. And like the thing is though, it, this is like a really contagious virus, and it's pretty, it's been spread basically almost around the whole world at this point, just because China doesn't want to be honest with what's going on within its borders, and it wants to be like have the appearance that has everything under control, that it's as powerful as it makes one it wants to make uh, everyone to think it is, and it, it's causing way more issues 
globally than if they were just like, all right, guys, let's work together. They're just like, no, we're number one. Fuck you. We're in charge, you know? Yeah, like that's what it feels like. It is well, well you know, you know, it's, you know, it's it's worse. It's worse than what they're saying because, like, because obviously Tencent has like a role in this as like one of their news providers. Uh, Riot, like in China right now, they're not playing League of Legends. That's League of Legends' biggest market. They're not allowed to have games like official games. And and in Korea, in Korea, they're not allowed to have live audiences right now. Like Faker's playing in front of like an empty stadium right now. And, and this is even in Why? China. This is in Korea. Man, for the coronavirus yeah because of the coronavirus yeah. and yeah so in in china right now the league of legends biggest market no pro games because they're not, and they're not allowed to go into movie theaters all movie theaters are shut down so, and and they shut down major cities that like like you're not allowed to like quarantine major cities where millions of people live. They, they quarantine so, like, Wuhan. so that's yeah. why i haven't seen any lpl or anything huh so yeah, yeah. yeah lpl so, lpl's gone right now it's just not dude w- wuhan yeah. wuhan is quarantined yeah, like the whole fucking region. Yeah, if you guys don't know this, that's like five to six percent of the world's population in that region alone is quarantined. Yeah, that's not that's not going to be able to work, then, is it? I, I mean, it's obviously it doesn't matter because there are people in the United States dying from the coronavirus. Yeah, yeah. So one person died. Does that? Did they? Were they able to spread it to other well, people? See, here's the thing. Sorry. Yeah. The, uh, the United States and a lot of these first world countries, um, they're actually being more active in the prevention of this spread outside of China. They're not going to be able well, to do be, it like... To be fair, though, it's, e- it's easier when there's much less people infected. Like, we yeah. know every person in the United States is infected so far. Or well, most it, of them. Yeah, it's kind of like how the Ebola outbreak was. Like, so we took them from... We took all our people, <laughs> we got them home, and we quarantined them immediately as soon as they flew home. That's like we got we chartered people from China, got them out of the region, got them out of the country even to get them home so that they could be quarantined and watched and, you know, helped and basically assisted in recovering or to see if they had the virus. If that's true. That's actually like dope as fuck for them to do. No, that's, that's exactly what we did. Like we did that as much as yeah. possible for the people like, there. That, that seems like the protocol then, you know, like, all right, we're going to bring you back. We're going to make sure. It says an American national in China died, is what I just read. Oh, okay, so the person wasn't in the United States. Okay, that's, that's, thanks, uh, thanks, Randall, for uh, correcting. So, okay, that's well, that, that kind of changes it, yeah. Randall's like, our, like a, in, in, uh, in chat editor. He's like Jamie from oh, yeah. the uh, fucking Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so... Pull it up. Pull it up, Randall. Just kidding. But yeah, so I think I think that... It's mostly going to stay in China because a lot of these countries, like the, especially the European Union, Russia, India, India might have a bit of a trouble with it, but fucking like any other, like it's going to stay to fucking China. Like all these first world countries aren't going to let it spread to their well, own country. At least, at, at least in Asia, at least, yeah. I, I, I could see, yeah. I could see it spreading to like Mongolia or something. Yeah, any land based on that, I can see it easily spreading. <clears> but like, if you have to fly or take a boat. It's most likely going to not spread. As I feel like it's. I feel like it's spread more likely on a boat. It, well, you still. Whenever you come into a harbor, yeah, you have immigration to services, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 immigration and. Uh, but uh, SARS, know. SARS is pretty bad. It obviously never spreads to the United States, but this is like ten times worse than SARS or something. It's pretty. It's pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, any sort of viral outbreak is. Is terrible because it takes so much to get a vaccine designed for. Yeah, we don't well, have a yeah, cure yet, which is. Uh, Wait, I thought I they had a, a cure. Designed virus. I think no. it's a designed virus. That's what it is. That's what I think it is. By China to create this problem. Yes. To like cult, maybe what? What if it was uh, designed oh, by China to population? No, I know what it is. Yeah, they need, they need to like slim down the population because their chairman really wants a second kid. So. <laughs> you need to get rid of that. <laughs> they one they got rid of that law. They got they got rid of that law. You can have well, oh, kids. well, I guess that my joke isn't as funny anymore. I I like the Trevor. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Um. They they made it less strict or something like that. Did you guys see the uh, video of uh, 
people, uh, I think it was a Twitch clip, and if you want to uh, eat at a McDonald's in China, the McDonald's employees have to like, stand by the doors and they have a scanner where it scans your forehead to see if you have a fever, and if you have a fever, you're not allowed inside McDonald's. Did you guys see that video? Yeah, it's see, fucking, yeah. It's, trippy yeah, it's not fuck. as stringent as the law now. Apparently it's two kids you can have now. So it's not oh, as stringent. Oh, two kids, okay. I should have said three kids if I was up to date, but I'm not up to date with China's <laughs> laws, believe it or not, so... Big <laughs> progress going on China. there. <laughs> Big progress. Guys, you can now have two kids. But people in America are having like five. Yeah, well, yeah, but people, guys, people in you can have two now. now. Those, those people having five kids in America are probably low-income families that don't follow any sort of like contraceptive anything. <laughs> you're that, you're that, or they're, they're crazies like the people in Tiny Town. What was this people's name? Uh, like the Duggars? Yeah, the Duggars. Dude, I don't know if you knew, knew this, John, but we lived, like, fucking stone's throw away from a television family called the Duggars. I don't know if you've ever heard of them before. But they lived in Tawny no. Town, and they're, they're uh, what was the show called, Alex? I don't know. It's like, what is it, like, 14 and counting or something? Either way, they had, like, a, they had, like, an enormous amount of kids. Like, an, like, an enormous amount of kids. And they're sh- basically the show got the show ended. I don't know if this is why the show ended, but the show ended. But either way, but either way, one of the one of the kids diddled another kid, so they they are not on the news anymore. You don't hear about them, but yeah, they had like fourteen kids, and that's what like the most famous person in like in our area was. That's yeah, fucking nuts. A lot of kids, man. They're, they're like a Mormon or not Mormon, but uh, what is that called? Nineteen and counting. Nineteen. Oh, nineteen about- kids, bro. What? Nineteen kids. Wait, wait. Do you mean polygamy? No, it wasn't polygamy. They were, they were, uh, they had 19 you, kids. You said, you said, no, you know, you said they're not Mormon, but what is it called? Like, what are you trying to think of? Yeah, like the other type of Mormon, like, uh, not, like, like, like not Mormon, not Amish, but. What? What? Mennonite? Mennonite. They're Mennonite, I think. I've never heard of that. I'm sorry. Uh, Mennonite, Mennonite, or like they dress like the Amish, but they have technology. Cool. I guess they're kind of they kind of they kind of like old style, uh, old style. Uh, fuck, what's that called? People who speak in tongues. Whatever. Latin. We're we're, di- we're diverging. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is this is okay. So I want I want to say something, Alex. Earlier you said that there's no cure or Trevor said that or something. I thought I I thought I read something about. They are that. Baptists. Hold on, sorry. They're Baptists. Wow, that's funny. I'm Baptist. I didn't know they were Baptist. Okay. Yeah, but like I, I remember reading something about that they were able to figure out a cure to the coronavirus through some HIV cocktail like drugs. I can see that. Here, I, I wanna make that. I wanna make sure here. So it's like when the Ebola virus is, you know, like viral outbreaks are super difficult to contain because it's so hard to make a vaccine for them. Okay, so I I, I put in coronavirus cure. And I'm just going to yeah, okay. get back. So uh, the commercials that we didn't run just ended. And the new topic is, so this child, uh, this four-year-old, uh, was diagnosed with the flu. And he was prescribed Tamiflu. And, the, and his father gave him Tamiflu. And his parents are divorced. So the father, he gives the child the Tamiflu, right? And the mom... Uh, she's actually anti-vax. So she goes to an anti-vax group on Facebook, asks, hey, do I give my child this Tamiflu? Uh, because my, my husband, my ex-husband gave it to him. And while I can't undo the damages that my ex-husband did, what can I do from here on for my child? And everyone's like, do blah, 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 blah. Essential oils, sock, potatoes in the socks, you know, shit like that. And... Unfortunately, it was in the sock. Yeah, I don't. It's supposed to absorb the oxidants or some shit. I don't know. Are they trying? Uh, can we? I I don't, I don't want to stop you, but are they trying to like when you put too much salt in a soup or a stew, uh-huh. Uh-huh. you put a potato in there to absorb the salts? Are they trying to get that sort of mindset? <laughs> no, it's just like <laughs> that was So kind, so kind out. of right. So, so like, what the idea is, is that, like, you take a potato and you, like, rub it on someone's forehead or their face or whatever, and it'll start, like, turning black as it absorbs, uh, or, like, you, like, leave it on them, and it'll like, absorb, like, the bad chemicals and stuff, and it will, like, t- 
take it out of their body, make the kid feel better, and it would turn black with it. And but really, it's just oxidizing because it's fucking being left out in the fucking air. So it's just oxidizing, turning black, as you know, potatoes fucking do. And anyways, it's fucking stupid. So this person goes to an anti-vax group, gets this information not to use the Tamiflu on their child to do this other bullshit remedy stuff, and the child dies from the flu. It's fucked. So what the fuck? So this I think- woman basically murdered her kid because she couldn't use her fucking brain to think that maybe so- vaccines are good. Maybe maybe medicine will save my child, and now her child is dead. Man, what slaughtered. the fuck? Man, so slaughtered. yeah, if the child didn't die, I think the father could have won custody just solely based off of that. You Probably. Know, he could have got her fucking, like, I don't know what it is, but child services would have fucking declared her unable to fucking parent. Sense. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can find if anything happened to her. I mean that's manslaughter, Nothing's right? That, that has to that has to be manslaughter. That's basically it's, that's basically it's, manslaughter. It's negligence yeah. is what it is. But apparently, not, apparently, to I put in a four year old. Apparently, a child, a four year old boy, was shot and killed inside his own home last night. Um, well, that's rough. So four year olds just not having a good day. Bad day for four year olds. Bad. Bad time to be four, guys. <laughs> Apparently, dude. Um, so I'm gonna. So I found an article on CBS News about this. I'm gonna see if I can find anything um, about this. Apparently, she she called nine one one. Okay, okay. So in early February, two of Najee's the, um, I guess child. So Najee's mother took a uh, took his ten month older brother to the emergency room. Fever of 104. Upon the return home, she gave the boys baths and sent a four-year-old Najee and his five-year-old brother to the room to put on pajamas. Minutes later, the five-year-old came out and said that uh, Junior, as Najee's family affectionately called him, was asleep. His mother then discovered him lying on the floor, pale, where he had apparently suffered a febrile seizure as a result of a flu-related fever. She called 911 and started CPR. Najee was eventually airlifted to a hospital in Colorado Springs. According to the family's GoFundMe, Najee was taken off life support on Wednesday. GoFundMe. Wait, they made money off this, too. I... And then in the thread, which has now been... They lose money. In the thread, which has now apparently been scrubbed from the group's Facebook page, the mom wrote, the doc prescribed Tamiflu. I did not pick it up. Um... One user advises you're better off taking vitamin D and C, elderberry, zinc, and eating lots of fruits and vegetables. Okay, perfect. I'll try that. She responds. Man, and then there's a photo. There's a photo with the kid in the ER. And I'm just going to scroll to the rest of the, to the bottom of the article, see what's her. Oh, my God. After news of Najee's death broke, Cook took to his Facebook group to bl- put the blame on the Children's Hospital, Colorado Springs, for the tragic accident. Mom said they were treated per- poorly by the hospital and, of course, never offered any real treatment that would have likely cured her boy hero. Exactly, one of the group's members responded. You just have to nourish the body, which hospitals do not do. They just poison. Cold, See, man. are... I'm fucking... I, I'm getting heated. Started. I'm fucking getting pissed. Reading they're the all day. retarded. They're all retarded. They're, they're literally no, there's retarded. No, there's no saving them, and you have to like to save them. You have to kind of reverse culture them. Like, for, I'm, like it, it's so weird. Like, you have to fucking. I'm hurting so. Them. I'm hurting so bad right now, and so it is his dad and brothers. Najee's mother told this news on Thursday. Our whole family. If I was the dad, Our I whole family is hurting, and it feels like we failed him because we did what we had to do. Motherfucker, you didn't do what you had to do. You would have given him the goddamn Tamiflu, saved his life by giving him the fucking medicine the doctors prescribed him, instead of giving him fruits and zinc, hoping that will save him, and then he dies because of your dumbassery. Like, fuck that. Yeah, God. If, if they're separated, that dad probably is thinking about killing there. That's 100%. I'm very upset. I'm very He's upset that this woman did that. this. And I don't blame him for fucking thinking about that. Goddamn. Trevor, what do you think about all this? 
Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm pretty sure it's manslaughter. That's my opinion. That they should get charged with manslaughter. At, at, like, at least. They could, have, they could probably get charged by uh, first degree murder. If, uh... she, need, she needs to be charged for negligence at least. No, negligence. manslaughter at least. Ne negligence is in... That's not even uh that's like a like low that's like a low tier felony like a high tier yeah, yeah, but I'm saying at the very least she needs to see something cuz like very at the very least that's manslaughter that's that's 100% like manslaughter you know what I mean Yeah I mean I I hope it'd be manslaughter that she got but like I wouldn't be surprised if she only got negligence like well, it depends. But, depends, but she, needs, depends, she needs to be something. That's if, she, if, uh, her name, if she's white, her name is Karen, and she her husband makes over $125,000 a year. It depends, on, that's, depends on if she gets uh, gets in trouble or not for it. Um, yeah. That was a joke. Fair all right. Well, uh, I have a good, I have a good transition. If you guys are ready to fucking care, if you guys are ready to uh, move on, because sure. uh, move on. That's transition on that one. That was okay. A bit well, rough talking about talking about dead kids, I actually have a good second topic to roll into this. Talk about dead okay. Kids. Well, we could, we can do that, but like I kind of want to stay on the thing like a little bit. You know, like why do these people think anti-vaccines is the way to go? I don't. It's it's, it's, it's information. There are people. Smart. There are people in, on the on this planet who believe that it's flat. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's just like uh -huh. think about it. You know, there are dumb people out there, man. They they get they get they get like they get like yeah, but... mind they get mind fucked and they get like like fucked in the head. Yeah, but like okay. I I I've looked into flat, the flat Earth theory. Okay, and oh what my they... god. And so what they do is they say, fuck science. Uh, first of all, they say fuck science. And then second of all, they go, we only know what we, what we truly perceive. And then what they truly perceive is some bullshit about how the earth is flat and blah, blah, blah. So that's how they get to that. And when they believe that the earth is flat, they don't, they don't affect negatively people health-wise. Like it's just like, oh, you're stupid. Don't talk to me. But when you're anti-vaccine and you're giving your kid and you're preventing your kids, like – from having resistances to diseases, like things that could save their life, and you're preventing life-saving things to them. It's literally, it's so, it's so stupid. Like you're killing people, basically. Like it's way worse than just someone thinking, like, "Oh, the Earth is flat." It's like, "Oh, the Earth is flat." You're dumb. But the other thing is, like, you're you're so stupid. You're actually gonna kill your kid. Like, what is wrong with you? Why can't you just do the thing that everyone else is doing to save your kid? Like, even if it gives them autism, like, that's your worry. It gives them autism. Why not have an autistic alive child rather than a dead, non-autistic child? And it doesn't even have anything to do with autism. First off, because that the, the study that most of them quote has been proven to be debunked by literally so many people that it's, it's, it's just mind-boggling that these people are so ignorant and stupid that they're willing to Earth's put their child's life at yeah. risk like that dude and it, it pisses me off man <sighs> john's too close to this topic i'm just flew, saying dude he flew too close to the sun to be fair though i see where they're coming from you know yeah, yeah. what I, well i mean think about it like you know like mercury that can kill you that's in vaccines is it yeah, it's thermal mercury, which is non bio. Well, it's like, mer mercury's mercury, dude. It doesn't. It doesn't. Like, would you like, inject mercury into your kids? Think about it. If it would what, save the them, vaccines. if it would save them Organic from polio, mercury is bad. Normal mercury is not so bad. Look, look. If mercury, if for whatever reason injecting mercury into my kid would prevent them from getting polio and they get autism in turn of that. I'd rather them have autism instead of polio. I'm just saying. That was a joke, but yeah. Are we ready to no, move on? Dude. I don't. I don't feel like the anti-vax. I think. I think we can't talk about things we're too much in agreement with because everyone. Everyone hates anti-vax. It's just boring. You know what I mean? It's like. Except for the people who are into anti-vax. Yeah, but like, like, no one on this panel is. Uh, no panel of hosts. This great collection of hosts we have here, and we're all gonna be like, "Yeah, anti-vaxxers are fucking stupid." You know what I mean? It's not like so. There's not a whole lot to, uh, not a whole lot to cut into there, deep in that conversation. Yeah, I suppose, but like, just I can't believe this woman wouldn't give her child prescribed medicine, not even a vaccine, just prescribed medication. 
wouldn't give her child back and thing. instead let her die. Like, let, his, let her child die. Well, talking about killing your children, I have a good transition to our next topic. Hell yeah, what is it? Okay, well, it came out this week that Casey Anthony... You remember, guys remember Casey Anthony? Uh, let me let me do a quick search to make sure I remember her. I think I do, though. Yo, oh, yeah, I guess Johnny might have been kind of young when I have been. Either way, a while ago, this is probably like, what, a <laughs> decade ago? Uh, this yeah, chick named Casey yeah. Anthony was like the biggest thing in the news. It's like OJ Simpson trial, but like for our modern days. This chick named Casey Anthony, she killed her kid. It was so obvious she killed her kid, but she got off. She got yeah, off. found not guilty on 2011. Yeah, so uh, almost a decade ago. Yeah, so it came out this week that she had Googled foolproof suffocation methods in her Firefox that. search history. But the police overlooked the evidence and couldn't find it because they only checked Internet Explorer. The police only knew of Internet Explorer. Oh, I they didn't know, about they didn't know Firefox didn't was a thing. So they just checked Internet Explorer. And if they would have checked Firefox, you'd be in prison for killing your kid. But since they checked Internet Explorer only, she got off. I remember reading because about that. I had no I, idea. I remember someone saying... Um, we checked their internet search history. We didn't see anything. Did you check all the internet browsers? Um, we checked the, the she had an internet browser and we checked it. Shut the fuck up, nerd. Yeah, I thought that, that was a, a joke someone that, made about I it. That was funny in a very dark way. I I I think it's ironic, is what it is. She's just Firefox 100% guilty. That's how you should know. See Firefox on there, and they know the person's crazy. To be fair though, John uses Opera, so. I, mean, I only use Opera on to stream. Be part of a, uh, I only use Opera on stream to save resources. Sure. I, I, I mean, I, any I, thoughts? Yeah. Out, any thoughts in this case? Anthony? I remember. I remember Casey Anthony used to be a big, big deal back in the day. Like that was like the like everyone was keeping up with the news. Like she was like girl, she became a celebrity. She's basically a celebrity now. Like like the, like, like Monica, Monica Lewinsky tier celebrity. But like, I want to know. Um, I don't, I don't want to know anything, but it's just like it, it's it's so crazy to me that like such a minor like mess up, uh, not checking all internet browsers. Like how do you, how does that happen? Like you don't see Firefox and think maybe I should check the history of different browsers. Oh, like, yeah. what the fuck? Or like OJ Simpson's lawyer walking out of his house carrying a fucking briefcase, like a suitcase. You guys remember that? Mm -mm. OJ Simpson's trial. Uh, I, his, I think I was. The first I think I was person, too young. The first person they called was uh, his. He called his lawyer first before anything happened. I mean, that's how you do. You're fucking guilty. You murder your. You fucking kill your wife. You call your lawyer instead of the doctor. I mean, uh, like a doctor or a fucking police. But either way, so uh, his lawyer gets there. The police arrive on the scene and then and they talk to his lawyer who go who goes in empty handed, comes out with a fucking suitcase and just walks to this trunk, puts in his trunk. Topic. And goes uh, and changes it. Oh, you gotta love him. Yeah, it's it's uh. You can't win with him. So uh, yeah, that's uh. I thought that I thought that was I thought that was pretty funny. I think it's funny how how like bad police are at their jobs, and also how good police can be at their jobs. You know what I mean? It's like, like like the police are I feel like are either like super geniuses who are like really good at solving cases. And they're like also like super super like stupid, like who could like let Casey Anthony off the hook, like like I I, I was and, reading like the car like her car smelled like a dead body, but they didn't check it or anything, like a bunch of I other mean, shit. Yeah, it's like how how do these police officers like what's the, what's the protocol? Like are they not following protocol or is like are the smart one doing extra? You know, I'm, I'm not I'm not a person sure on that one. You know, like I think it's just they're not not like trained properly to critically think or they just they're scraping the bottom of the barrel for these officers and detectives you know you're you should be able to critically think about certain things especially when you're trying to be a detective or you're trying to you know <coughs> i guess a civil servant in general uh, find find out like what happened uh like with someone someone murder trial whatever not murder fucking case you, you don't have like it, probably complacency Probably what it is. It's probably like they, they they just don't care. 
that they're yeah. that like they how how they affect the public as a civil servant. I think I think yeah. a lot of it, a lot of it might be like internal biases. Like at some point, the, the people like the people who are running the investigation were like, I don't really think she's guilty, and they didn't really like try that hard to like prove she's guilty. Yeah, it could be that too. They're like bias is getting in trouble. Like they get put a lot of innocent people away because the people because the cop are like, nah, fuck this guy. My fucking de- my big brain five head detective uh, detective senses are telling me that this guy's fucking for sure guilty. Then they'll do everything like even skew evidence to make sure this guy's found guilty. It happens all the time. It could happen like in reverse, you know. What yeah. like they don't think that someone's guilty, so they're like, uh, they're not guilty. I don't really check no, like, all uh, the like, like, crannies. They, they think they're guilty for sure. Like they're people who are like. Yeah. Especially like like more racist cops on the racist side be like, oh yeah, this black dude's for sure guilty, and then they fucking like throw him in the slammer, you know, and then like, it comes out like ten years later, the DNA evidence doesn't match up, and the cops like, oh fuck, I thought that other guy was guilty for sure, you know, well, like it could yeah, happen but, uh, in reverse. Like, the people could have been like, oh yeah, they I mean this look at this white woman, she's clearly sad, you know, <laughs> yeah, let's let's like she's she's not she didn't kill her daughter, that'd be insane. No, see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like. Instead of, uh, oh, this person's guilty, let's, you know, do all we can to prove they're guilty. Like, oh, they're not guilty, let's just do the bare minimum and say, oh, we did it. And then, like, guilty and then just leave it. Proven innocent. <laughs> exactly. No, uh, <laughs> uh, no it's just some, I mean, there's some crazy stuff that, like, always get refreshed about on this story. Like, uh, I mean, it's not like she's, like, currently married or, like, living with the, like, head investigator. Or, like, a private investigator that, that was, like, working for her or whatever. It's just fucking crazy, and, uh... Yeah, talk like, about fucking separation of interest or whatever. Uh, what, what was it? There's there's something there's something else that was absolutely nuts. Oh, yeah, so she, like, texted out or something. I don't remember what it was, but basically, like, she pretended like she had a nanny. But it's, like, it's called, like, it's called Zanny the Nanny, which is a joke. Because, like, it's, like, it's a horrible joke. Because basically, like, like the, the people would say, like, give just give a Xanax to, the, uh, to your kid. And they'll pass out, and then, then you won't have to fucking, like, deal with them. You can go out and do whatever you want. So, basically, her nanny was it was a Xanax. But, basically, what happened was, like, this fucking, uh, this Mexican chick, who's actually named got, got a Zanny, got pulled into it. Where everyone thought she was a nanny for a while. Which is also why, like, she, like, she kind of got off, because she kind of had an owl bike. She had a nanny. She didn't really have a nanny named Zanny. She was talking about giving um. a Xanax to her fucking kid. And some poor Mexican woman got dragged into it. And who, like, everyone's like, oh, yeah, no, look, this is her nanny. Her name is Zanny, and she's Mexican. And, uh, but it actually didn't happen. A bunch of crazy shit like this happened for, uh, for Casey Anthony to get off. It was really, like, a fucking, like, like, a fucking symphony of fucking, like, beautiful fucking strands to somehow make it to work where she didn't go to prison for killing her kid. It was actually fucking nuts. Like, how... On one hand, it's like, how lucky do you have to be to do that? But on the other hand, it's like, what kind of gross negligence from a criminal system took place for that to happen it's like why did no one do their due diligence about someone murdering their fucking kid dude yeah she's talking about having another kid too by the way the, uh can we can we like bar that can we just say yeah, hey if you have a kid you're going she, to jail she's, like she's illegally innocent you know what i mean she can have a she can pl- plop out 18 more you know try to compete with the literally, literally found out recently that like double jeopardy right is it possible with new evidence to try her for the no. same thing no no. I thought I thought like having new evidence would change that ability. Not when she's no. not she would not, not when she's acquitted or whatever. Oh, no, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna double check myself. If the case is extended, it would have worked. Like a lot of times, like like the case is extended, but that's why that's why prosecutors don't go in unless they have a clear clear cut case. You know what I mean? That's why like yeah, they, they like they add, they like sometimes they investigate people for like ten like a decade before they before they throw it in where they have enough evidence. You know, and you get, then all of a sudden you get slammed for shit that happened like ten years ago. Okay, the defendant over the offense to which they were acquitted. Mm. Okay, well, we probably shouldn't take that long of a break in the middle of a podcast. Either way, uh, we, we, can, we can move on. I feel, I feel like we kind of hashed this out. It's just a fucking crazy news that came out this week, so. So there's some, there's some exceptions to it, but pretty much if the, if the case came to a conclusion, you cannot. I, I, had all, I thought for a second that if there was new evidence about the same crime you could be tried again on the new evidence uh but i guess not 
No. All right, Alex. All right. I think you. I think you said you had a topic. Yeah, I can't remember. <sighs> okay. You didn't write it down. What the fuck? Uh, okay, I'm saying what? Alex is the least prepared person to get in here today. I came up. I came. I prepared. I have a list. I have a list. I, I came prepared. Uh, I, I I I gave you two good co- topics right off the bat. Okay. Yeah, I came prepared as well. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, do you have a uh, another topic you want to talk about? Because we have we have three more topics on my list. Two of them are political. We're gonna just roll back to back. And um, um I, I'm okay with talking about some political stuff. That might that might be something to talk about. Okay. Um. Wait, well, we can we can just talk about the one that Alex doesn't want to talk about first, and we can just we can just blow we can just blow through it. But Trump was acquitted this week. Um, he was? Which, was a, which is a surprise to nobody because Republicans own the Senate. Yep. And uh, they're already pretty much in his pocket. So they were, they were all, before the trial even started, so they said they were going to quit. The only senator who here's voted the, uh, not party lines was Mitt Romney, yes, by the way. Yes, Mitt Romney, so the very the first uh, senator mm-hmm. in history to vote against his party, by the way. Very first. So, so here's the thing about that like, obstruction of Congress, how? Obstruction of Congress, because, because, because they purposely, he went out of his way to pe- but people like, like Bolton, Bolton who was there in the room while it happened, Mulaney, Mulaney who was there, or Mulvaney was there, and uh, basically John Trump Lane? was like, no, you're not, I will throw you in prison if you go to Congress. Call Congress, who's a co-equal branch of government, asked and subpoenaed these people and be like, hey, we need you for evidence for our criminal and trial. And Trump is like, Congress no, we will throw you in prison that. if you talk to Congress. A co-equal branch. So that's how it's obstruction of, pro- of Congress. Congress can enforce their subpoenas, but chose not to. Um, I, they, what do you mean? Also, it doesn't so matter. It doesn't Congress matter if they the if they try to Department. enforce. It doesn't matter if they try to enforce or not, because if they try to enforce it, it'll go to the courts, and the courts will take months and months to deal with it. But or but the thing is that he was blocked. It doesn't matter if they try to enforce it or not. He was blocking it. it the the him actively ob- obstructing it is doing it. You know what I mean? You can obstruct regardless. Like obstruction is obstruction. You know what I mean? Where is that? Uh, there's a special thing. Yeah, I saw okay, that, so happen, that happened today, so, too. Here is what Mitt Romney said about uh, Trump's oh, abuse of power. I, I and I agree that. very hard. I, I agree a lot with what he said. What he said was, what he did was not perfect. No, it was a flagrant assault on our electoral rights, our national security, and our fundamental values, corrupting an election to keep oneself in office is perhaps the most abusive and destructive violation of one's oath of office I can imagine. And and uh, another thing he said, the president asked a foreign government to investigate his political rival. The president withheld vital military funds from that government to press it to do so. Quid pro quo. The president delayed funds for an American ally at war with Russian invaders. And the president's purpose was personal and political. Accordingly, the president is guilty of an appalling abuse of public trust. What do you like? I agree. What do you guys? Think? Well, I mean, the, the the thing is, it's like no, no one, no one disagrees with this. And that, that's that's the whole thing. It's just Republicans are like, yes, this happened. Yes, it was bad. But no, he shouldn't be impeached. That, that's that's the Republicans' arguments at this point. Well, but yeah, it, I mean, it's clear it happened. But he has to be held bad. accountable for his actions. That well, uh, Republican, are against well, the Republicans Constitution. Disagree. Republicans disagree. But yes, uh, but I mean, I I, cl- I clearly I clearly think it's an impeachable act. Obviously, Mitt Romney does too. And obviously the Senate's all in his corner. Like no one wants to like, no one wants to fear the wrath of Trump supporters. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And like, if you vote to fucking get rid of Donald Trump, and you're a Republican, you're probably not going to get reelected. You know? Well, I, I mean, some witnesses that were testifying were literally fired by Trump. Yeah, it happened. Like yeah, twenty four, forty eight hours too. after his acquittal. You know, another abuse of power, basically. Like, well, I mean, maybe not abuse of power. Not really abuse of power. He just sorry, sorry. Sorry, it's not abuse of power, but it's still an impeachable offense. I don't know what what uh, it falls under. How is how is that impeachable? Here, obviously, they 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 lost trust. It's a loss of trust in his in his uh, basically structure. So he's lost trust in those people. They he doesn't believe they could do their job. For him properly, it's the it's the equivalent. But to punish someone, it's the equivalent of 
is equivalent of persecuting a whistleblower. He's persecuting a whistleblower, which is a, which is a crime. But also, to be clear, an impeachable offense could be anything. Like we yeah. impeach Clinton for getting a blowjob and lying about it. I mean, he didn't even lie about it. He fucking yeah, he the way the way he phrased it was technically true. So he got, I he got have impeached with that. that you, girl, can get, you can get impeached for mean? anything that people that that Congress thinks is un like un like becoming of the office of the presidency. So if it so if him basically firing a whistleblower, even though it's technically okay, is unbecoming of his office, and then the co-equal branch of government can decide if that's yeah. if that's impeachable. I disagree. I don't think it's even. I don't think it's even technically okay. I think there's actual article that's saying you cannot do it. Hold on, let's, uh, I'm gonna see if I can find it. No, you can. <laughs> it wouldn't be as much as a whistleblower at that point. Though, I don't think. I mean, he. I mean, he literally. He, these people literally testified against the president of the United States, and the president of the United States fired them immediately afterwards. If that isn't if that isn't persecuting a whistleblower, I that's that's literally a definition of it. I think, hey, like you get you're getting fired for whistleblowing. Yeah, I can see it. By the way, Trump was acquitted. Uh, I got a question for you guys. Do you think this is going... Okay, so he's officially acquitted. Everyone knew he was going to get acquitted. Do you think this is going to help him? Do you think him being acquitted is going to help him in the polls? And do you think it's going to, like, uh, help, like help him? Or do you think it's going to Or do you think it's going to be the same as everyone already knew? Or do you think it's going to make it worse? Like, everyone saw what I sham think, of a... I think everyone saw what a sham of it was. Like, a anyone with a brain can that Trump committed some deplorable acts whether it be impeachable or not he it was still deplorable acts in my opinion and i think people will see that it was a kind of sham thing because how the senate literally ruled by republicans voted all against party lines because they are both scared of trump and for some reason they all really really support trump for like no reason yeah you see it what about you, Alex? You think, uh, do you think uh, he's going to get a bump off of this? Mm. Well, if Bernie becomes a a better, like, and he's already a good candidate, but if he comes, like, up higher, I guess you can say, and if he starts winning with some of these caucuses and he starts getting, be and the DNC actually recognizes how good of a candidate he is, then Trump's going to lose. Yeah, I think that's, I think it's a good point because I think okay, so I think I think if Bernie, Biden, and, and maybe Warren, I think have a chance of defeating of defeating Trump. I think if anyone else is just going to get Not fucking Warren. rolled by Trump for sure. I don't think Warren has a chance. Well, I mean, right now she's definitely down. I, but I'm saying like once once the whole Democratic Party like gets together, but like and maybe because she's like somewhat popular. She's also very unpopular. Yeah, Who was it? Oh yeah, I. I mean, that's this is a good this is a good point to roll since we were talking about um, candidates and, and Randall brought it up in chat anyways. But this is this is my second topic. The Iowa caucuses were a shit show and that happened this week, and we still don't know the results yeah. of the Iowa caucuses. And and the, why the Iowa caucuses is important because a single like every single person who's ever won the Iowa caucus has gone on to be the Democrat uh, candidate, right? And the Iowa caucus, where Bernie was supposed to win, everyone looked like he was winning, and he got the most, po he got the highest popular vote. They still won't release the vote of the votes on for the first time ever, and this is a huge thing. And uh, Republicans are claiming victory right now. They're saying, "Oh, Democrats came and run a Iowa caucus. Well, how can they run the government? You know what I mean?" It's honestly that's true though. And, 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 and when it and when it and when it finally comes out that Bernie won, I mean, because it's obviously just rigged against Bernie, in my opinion. But when it finally comes out that Bernie won, he's not gonna get the bump from it. Like people are gonna be like, "Oh yeah, it was such a clusterfuck." Yeah, oh yeah, Bernie won. Who cares? You know what I mean? So like, Bernie's never gonna get the Iowa bump that like Hillary got last year or Obama got before. You know, like Obama fucking skyrocketed after winning uh, winning uh, Iowa. You know, and like, yeah. and people are talking about how like how like uh, Joe Biden, who was supposed to be the front runner this entire time, got fourth place. Joe Biden got fourth place. It went well, Bernie, it went Bernie, Pete, Warren, then uh, 
and then Biden and right behind Biden he almost got fifth was the Klobuchar so it's like he all oh, he, he got fucking rolled and no one's talking about this now because it's just a clusterfuck like like Bernie just got fucking like he got fucked yeah and uh to top it all off, there's a whole bunch of drama. The reason why it got so destroyed is because they decided to do it by they decided to count it by app this year instead of just doing paper ballots. And no shit, the app is called the Shadow App. No joke, it's called Shadow App, <laughs> and it is owned by the uh, owned by the fucking wife of the head advisor of Pete Buttigieg, who is who is trying to win Iowa right now. Who, who basically is like right behind uh, right behind uh, Bernie. And so, like, basically, the whole thing got fucked by Pete's uh, advisor's wife's shadow app company. And, and right before our caucus, he donated thirty thousand dollars to them. Isn't that fucking nuts? Isn't that just like a bunch of strange coincidences that happened for the Iowa caucus to get fucked this bad? It sounds. To get fucked? It sounds like on purpose. Like all, this, like all man, this is like. This is where people say dim, Democrats are old, just giant. They're like very corrupt. You see this shit. That's why a lot of these people who are centrist go to the Republicans, even though they see the Republicans as corrupt as well. They just see this shit and like, man, that's I don't want to fucking vote for that guy. Well, yeah, it's because like they they screw out, they screw they, this be, if they screw Bernie this year, the second year in a row that they fucking, I mean, second fucking yeah. uh, caucus in a row, not caucus, but like election cycle in a row, they fucking just fuck over Bernie all together. Can't find the king of the thing, election. By the way. Yeah, and that's why like you see a lot of centrists vote Republican because of the shit. Yeah, it's, it's fucking bad. Like, this is, like, this is the moment where, like, Democrats need to capitalize upon, like, the movement. And instead of, like, going to, like, their popular, easy, popular, populist person who's in first place, instead they're, they're throwing everything into uh, destroying Bernie. That's that's the only thing. Because in their mind, no four one more years, four more years of something. Trump, and, and, Demo- and, like, centrist Democrats, or, like, neoliberal Democrats' minds, it is, four more years of Trump is uh, preferable to Bernie Sanders. 100 percent in their mind i don't understand because like trump it, it, I, I i can't even like put into words how not fit of a president he is at this point point. and bernie like I, I look at him and i see like photos and i see articles from when he was being arrested for, for fighting for equal rights between like like voting or like uh, fighting against segregation and stuff right like he's always believed the things he's still fighting for and I don't know. He seems like an actual good person to be president yeah, instead of this can't. person who has no idea what they're doing and is doing anything they can do to get just more money to them is what it feels like. It's because it's because it's it's it's, it's fiscal policy. It's because Trump advocates for low taxes for the rich, something that fucking neoliberal Democrats love. Uh, it's their number one thing. Because don't forget these 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 Dem- these Democrats don't care about so- social policy at all. And they, and they also they also love uh, huge military budgets. I guess most people do. And they also love yeah. uh, fucking um, a big one, healthcare. They don't want to go to a Medicare for all. They they are fucking in the pockets with the, like the pharma industries and the uh, insurance industries. These people pay like millions and millions of dollars to these fucking Democrats, and they're like, yeah, uh, we don't want it. And so like if Bernie comes in, he's going to shake up the system in a positive way for us. But in a shitty way for the people who are profiting off of this, and they're in like four years of Trump to a fucking neoliberal people like Biden, like they, they like four more years of Trump would be better, like preferable to uh, Bernie. The thing is though, like what makes me mad is that fuck the people who wouldn't work out for them. Like the, that's such a minority compared to the population in the U.S. And it's so, so such a selfish mindset of fuck the whole country. I want my money, like. I don't get it. Like, how do you not want the country to be better and just other people as humans to be better? And there are ways to do this. Mm-hmm. And it, it, you just want more money for what? Like, do you not have enough at this point? Yeah, it's 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 pretty it's pretty it's pretty frustrating. The whole Democratic Party is frustrating right now. The most frustrating part now is this guy named Michael Bloomberg. Do you guys know who Michael Bloomberg is? Uh, I think I've heard of it, but I don't really know. I think I've heard of him. Maybe he's a he's a billionaire. He's a he used to be a Republican New York mayor who's running for Democratic president right now. He's not even on the caucus, like uh, on the ballots right now. He's on the ballots until like Super Tuesday. Uh, they for one, Democrats changed the rules to where he can get into the debates for some reason. But uh, he uh, normally uh, the the way it is, you're not allowed on debates unless you have supporters who pay money to your campaign, which is why people like Bernie, who's got the most 
campaign contributions of all time can uh, go on the debate stage. But uh, they changed it so Michael Bloomberg can go in there because he has no supporters. He's self-funding his... I mean, he has supporters, but he has... Uh, he has no like donations donations to him. He's self funding his entire campaign. He spent hundreds of millions of dollars canvassing uh, the Super Tuesday states and onwards. Like he didn't spend any money on like Iowa like everyone else is. Just to come in late to steal enough delegates to deny Bernie Sanders presidency. That's his only goal. So so he's he's currently in like sixth place right now with like eight percent of the population eight percent of the population. His goal is to steal enough delegates that that Bernie can't get a super majority. Then whenever uh, if you don't get a super majority, if you don't know, then basically the Democratic Party gets to decide what like what coalition of like these vote like delegates all mix and match together to have more than oh, uh, so a super fun. majority to beat to, Dude, to beat Bernie, which is what my, which is what a billionaire who is in there spending hundreds of millions of dollars his goal is right now and, and is in there and is getting allowed on the debate stage now because Democrats hate Bernie so much. I don't understand why people hate Bernie so much. Like he's calling for social reform, and everyone who's saying, "Oh, we can't do that," like literally, almost every country. In the first, almost well, every other first world country that is, is basically doing what he's advocating for. He's literally central to the world, but so far left to us that no one in the U.S. can wrap their minds around it, and they don't want him to win because it's a min. It's the boys' club up there, you know. I don't get it. It's 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 a hundred percent about money, and it's about uh, corporate insurance, uh, corporate interests, man. It's, it's, it's clearly, uh, but on the bright side, it, he he, Bernie might win. I'm a Bernie fan. He might win still, so we'll see. We'll, I'm we'll a see Bernie it, fan. We'll see how we all we all see how it uh, all plays out. You know, we don't. We should. We I want to Bernie to Bernie win. Forever, but. Yeah, yeah, I want Bernie to win. If Bernie can't win, I want Yang to win. One of those two. Yeah, I swear, everyone likes Yang. I like, I like Yang. He's, like, he's, he's a he's a very he's a very personable person. Of Bernie, exactly. He's a very personal person. He has very similar, a uh, few different ones, and. The thing is, though, like, I want Bernie to win. I feel like Bernie has more yeah, experience and stuff. I don't know. But... Um, yeah, Yang has no experience. Yeah, so I want Bernie to win. But if Bernie cannot win, I'd rather be Yang than literally Joe Biden or Hillary Clinton or any well, of Hillary them. Hillary Clinton's not coming back, thank God. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, Joe Biden, I think, has been quoted about saying um, things will, will not change. Yeah, like... I want change. I want I want you know students to be able to go to school without having to like go into massive debt. I want people to be able to be able to buy insulin to you know stay alive without having to go into debt. Like I want people to go to for all is my number one. Like healthcare and healthcare and higher education are my number one like things I care about. And Bernie and Yang, they both care about those things a lot does and they just want us to like suffer to like because everything's fine yeah, but it's like they don't know they haven't they have they don't know they don't talk to anyone like us they, they're not in the, in the woods with us like bernie like he fucking he knows and he's like i will fucking fix this like i know it's bad for you guys i know this isn't right and i will fix this and i promise that to you and it's like i trust him because like he has that history of always like he's always fought for the same things. He has that history behind him. He's a very trustworthy person in that sense, in my opinion. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay, well, uh, I think we can go and move on to right. our our last topic. Unless Ellis Alex remembers his topic, we can move on to our last topic, which should be a, a little fun one that I researched. I mean, it's dark, but it's also fun. I like dark humor. Um, do you guys want to take a, another quick break or no? No. All right, John, get off your phone. We're getting, we're rolling into this. All right, all right. I got a, I got a, I got a video for you guys to watch to get us into this topic because, uh, okay. th and this is more of the topics that I want to get into over time, um, because, okay. uh, because this is the funny shit that was like blowing up on all over YouTube and Twitter, and this shit, this is huge for a certain amount of people, but, uh, it, it, I mean, like, I guess if you're like a teenager or like whatever. But okay, it's the topic's about on Onison. I guess that's how you pronounce his name. Onison. Do you guys remember him? Oh, yeah. Onision. I, I always pronounce it Onision. Okay, that's fine. I like that the way I pronounce it. Onision. The banana, the banana it. song guy. Yeah. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna link you guys a video. Guy. I'm gonna see, link you guys a video and uh, fucking uh, this is just Discord February chat. Um, and uh, let before you start it, uh, let me know. We can we can watch it at the same time. I'm gonna show it to the stream. 
Nine one one. What are your? Um. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to put it on. I'm gonna put it on the stream. All right. Uh, I'm ready to hit play whenever. Um. Well, I need to fucking figure out how to do this. I need to make this go. I don't know how. I don't know how to. I don't know how I'm gonna make this work. Wait, this is so confusing because my desktop capture is fucked. I need have to, a seat. I need to make a. I need to make the third window probably. Either way, the audio will be fine enough. I think this is too fucking scuffed. Wait, if I have it completely covering Alex's face, why is it not completely? Oh, there it is. Oh, because it's the delay. I'm stupid. Yeah, this works. Okay, sorry, Alex. Your face is fucked. Okay. Nine one one. What are you recording? Oh shit, right. shit. I forgot this. Okay, uh, okay. Let me know. I'm starting on three, two, one, go. Nine one one. What are you recording? Hi, uh, there's a person who's been stalking me online oh, and they just showed up to my house. Doing his okay, bullshit. and they're outside oh, yeah, now? About. Yes, they're knocking on my door. Oh, okay. Great and do you know if they have any weapons? They have a bunch of camera people, like they're YouTube, they're YouTube stalkers. Okay, oh, there's fucking but no weapons seen? I didn't see any weapons, I just saw like okay. six guys in my driveway oh. and one of them is knocking on my door. And the one that's knocking on your door, is he the main one that you said has been stalking you? Yes, he's a stalker. Okay. He's, he's yelling He's yelling things at me through the door right now. Okay, and what do we know his name at all? It's Chris Hansen. <laughs> it's Chris Hansen. <laughs> it's so fucking funny, dude. <clears throat> oh my god, that's dumb. Alright, so basically, Oni son, right? So this is... Yeah, it's Chris Hansen. It's so fucking funny, dude. It's just like the peak comedic timing, to be honest. But, um... So basically, Oni son, the banana guy, the guy who made that fucking fit, that funny banana song back in the day. Basically, he's gone off the rails recently. And, um. Like, know, what banana song? Um, you Google, just Google Oni son banana song. That was like the shit back, that was like the shit back in the day. I'm not gonna, I can't play a fucking full video like that or just like, get like copyright struck or something. But basically, like back in the day, Oni son was fucking huge. Like, he was like the biggest YouTuber. And, uh, he, he's fallen off massively. And there's all, been a lot of drama about it. Well, a lot of people will call him a groomer and a pedophile. Yeah, well, that's, that's, well, that's, 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 that's what we're talking about. <laughs> so basically, and, and, cause, and this is recent news, because since January 30th, he, sp he spammed his channel with 20 YouTube videos trying to explain away all the grooming shit. So basically, here, here's a lowdown, right? And in these videos today, he admits to, uh, admits to having sex with this uh, chick named Sarah who claimed he groomed her. So, so he's married to this dude. And he, uh, he's like in his, in his, like mid to late thirties or maybe like early to mid thirties. I'm not sure. Either way, he's in his thirties. And I'm uh, watching the banana song. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll just rap. I'll just keep talking. I want to just do this. If he's care, he cared for this chick since she was 14 and him and his husband adopted her when she was 16. Then, uh, then apparently whenever she was 18, they had sex and this whole time she was, pre he, they were pressuring her to have like a romantic relationship with her. It was basically the grooming thing. And he's and he admitted to it in this fucking not the grooming but like having sex with her and it's one of his YouTube videos that it came out like recently, right? And uh, he's already banned. By the way, he's already banned from Patreon because someone else claimed that uh, sh that he was that she was groomed by him and he doxed her. Doxed her so bad that she got that he got fucking removed from Patreon, so he can't even make money off that anymore. Um, now, now uh, on top of that, Chris Hansen's uh, fucking investigating him, and now the FBI is investigating on his too. Like the FBI is going after this guy, um, and uh, and I'm in the midst of all this. Also, this is the last point is that the uh, like mag this magazine uh, reached out for like thing like a major magazine reached out for his uh, statements, and he said he's refusing to do interviews for anything under ten thousand dollars. Like he's making people like if Tim make pay him ten thousand dollars before you ever do an interview. So like his guy's gone completely fucking off the rails right now, and it, it, it's, it's a fucking it, like it's nuts. It's definitely Onision. 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 Okay, cool. Uh, because he put at the end of the like, banana song, which by the way was the longest two minutes. Got like by the national forest, whatever, Wait. destroying national forest. He's bankrupt. Property. He's bankrupt because he got sued by the national forest for destroying a monument on his property or some shit. That's nuts. I didn't hear about that. No, he like did uh, construction on like preserved land. He did construction he on like preserved land. land. That's that's insane. That's right, crazy. Sure that yeah. So this guy. So this guy is live. He's one of the biggest YouTubers. If not the biggest YouTuber. He He's... still makes videos and they get six K views. 
And out of his two million subscribers. Yeah, this guy's this guy's life has gone completely off the rails. And this it has been basically like blowing up in our face this week. I feel kind of sorry for the guy, but like Oh also... yeah, I forgot and he sued Chris Hansen. I thought this is on my list too. He sued Yeah, yeah he sued Chris, Chris Hansen and he got the wrong person. Yeah, he got the wrong person, so he canceled the lawsuit now he's not gonna sue sue uh yeah, he's not gonna sue Chris Hansen anymore. Oh, or actually no, I don't think it was a suit. I think it was a restraining order. Restraining order. Child daughter fell out of a second story window. Okay, yeah, really. But yeah, isn't that isn't that dude, up, everything everything's cra it's been crazy. So Chris Hansen's doing it, and, and this is a little bit of diet topic. We should probably talk about Onsen first, and then we we'll move into Chris Hansen because there's a lot of weird stuff happening with Chris Hansen too. But basically, he's getting uh, investigated by Chris Hansen right now. But yeah, isn't that isn't that some crazy shit? Like, do you have, do you have any thoughts about that? Because I feel um, like this is like a funny as fuck topic for somebody who used to be so much in the public eye for like our like community, like our public perception of our age group who we were raised on YouTube. Full disclosure, dude, I never watched him. I didn't even know he would exist until I saw until I saw all the outrage about him like being a groomer and shit. I never even knew about. Him. Yeah, see, I knew of his existence. I never watched his videos, but I knew the banana song. I saw that video a hundred thousand times when I was fucking young. Like, I didn't even know that was a school. thing until just now. Yeah. Like, you remember yeah. Alex, Alex? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, he's fucking evil guy. I don't, I don't give it that. Reading some of the shit that's fucking going on with the fucking grooming. Yeah, he's fucking evil. Yeah, if you're if you're actually like finding a girl who is young and then grooming them to be into you, and then in the future, like that's not that's not healthy. Like that's manipulative and abusive. So fuck that. Well, at least we, we, all, okay, we definitely okay, all agree that. on that, but I, I just think I just think it's funny, like this this drama that's happening in regards to this guy, because he used to be so iconic. But it, my it's, favorite, it's very interesting. My, my favorite thing about all of that, though, is um, how off the rails he's responded to everything. Yes, dude. yeah, twenty. He's videos gone. He's like in, actually in insane or something, dude. Yeah, twenty video. Yeah, it was a span of three days. I heard I heard it since January thirtieth, but it was a span of three days that makes it even funnier. Wait, like, wait, what's today? Today's, wait, today's uh, only eight, eight, so that makes sense. Yeah, 20 videos. I'll be right back. I'll be back. Okay, it's fine. Sorry, I know I know we got your intermission and all, but I'll be right back. It's fine. But yeah, um, we might as well stay on this topic until Alex is back before we move on to Chris Hansen. Because I got, or maybe we just move on to Chris Hansen. Because I, cause it, maybe you guys don't know enough about Oni Sun for us to be interesting. But I, th I thought it was very funny. It'd be like if, if you find out like 10 years from now, Markiplier was like diddling kids. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like... It'd be about the equivalent God. of that. I guess so. That's kind of fucked up. Or like... But he, I, he I don't know. Like, maybe not PewDiePie level a big, but like... not Maybe not like PewDiePie dealing kids, but definitely like Markiplier dealing kids. Or like you find out like the Smosh people were dealing kids. Or like the Smosh people were using their um, power of being content creators and being so widely known, especially to the younger crowd, to find an insecure girl who's like 13, 14 and being like well, he, talking to him. They, not only did she like, he like, they, they care for her when she's 14, but they actually adopted her. Yeah. That, like imagine adopting yeah. somebody and banging him. That's what, what, what's that guy, what's that director's name who fucking marrying his adopted daughter? Oh, that guy's fucked. Woody Harrelson. I, so, grooming I get, itself, I, this, we, can, we can do that, instead of Onison, we can go on a grooming topic on this off the too, but he's definitely done some shady shit. As Randall said, he had fans send him body pics so he could rate them online. I remember things like that controversy on fucking uh, YouTube, like other YouTubers fucking talking about how stupid that shit is. That's just fucking bullshit. Like, like you're, you're taking advantage of your audience. You're now in a, a like... You're in a position of power over somebody. That's an abuse of your. You basically you're abusing them. Pretty much, yeah. Like, and I just can't. I just whenever I think of anyone, I I, I think I can think of scenarios where like it'd be okay to marry your adopted daughter, and those scenarios are so like like extreme. And when I say extreme, I mean like um like they're seventeen, and you're like you know, 18, 19, 20, like a legal adult, and you adopt them because their parents died and they had nowhere else to go. And then like, but you were also dating at the time. So you, I don't know, some, some crazy shit though. Like, I don't know. Can you but, imagine? 
<laughs> like, like, like you're dating a chick, right? In high school, you're 18, she's 17, and her parents 16, died. 17, and yeah. her, her nearest relatives live like fucking half the country. Let me see, live in China. They live like half the way around, and you're in love with this chick. And you're like, fuck it, I'll be your dad. I'll be your da- <laughs> I was already your daddy, but now I'm your dad. And you just fucking, like, ad- fucking adopt your fucking girlfriend? Yeah, and then you marry her later on. Like, she, she, the- she cheats on you and you send her to her fucking bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That's, that's the only, like, like extreme situations like that are the only things I can think of where, like, doing that would be okay. But, like, generally speaking, just... God, dude. yeah, you should you should have banged oh about the daughter. Is a is a good uh, is a good. It's a know, good, good rule line to walk to on. Yeah. So speaking of grooming, Drake grooms people as well. Like he's that's what I heard. So that that Millie chick from uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, people saying that he's into those youngins. Like and, uh, when he, when he was on stage, when he was on stage, yeah, yeah. When he was on stage, the one girl was like, he's like, how old are you? She's like sixteen. He's like, you know, you know. You know he said something about like you look good for a sixteen year old or something. You don't look that age, you know, you're too curvy for oh, that. Didn't they he kiss her on the cheek. Yeah, yeah they kiss he kissed her on the cheek. Well, I mean, like, that's not too bad. A kiss cheek. Mm. Cheek kiss. I mean, imagine if your daughter went on stage where like a thirty year old man kisses her on the cheek and compliments her sexual drugness in front well, of like, I mean, thousands of people. No, no, that part that part's weird. I'm talking about kissing someone on the cheek in and of itself might not be that weird because like let's say a 16 17 18 year old so or like maybe even 15 and they go to a concert and it's like their favorite artist and like the artist like gives them a little kiss on the cheek it's just like a little affection it's like the same thing as giving a hug in some countries like i can see that being okay but the the comments about the curviness and the sexiness like that that's that's mo- that's going across the line for sure i'm not saying i agree, i'm not saying i agree with i was an artist and that follows that famous I would pull the Connor Reeves fucking move. That's as I mean, simple as that. Hover Connie hands, Reeves, all, hover hands everywhere, dude. Hover hands, yeah. I, mean, hover I, hands I, I want it to be known. I don't agree with those things I said. I'm just saying, like, I can understand them, but I don't agree with them. Hover hands. All about them hover hands. I, <sighs> I, would, I would hover hand, yeah, if I was, like, a famous person. I didn't want to get, like, into some shit. But generally speaking, I don't, I don't really hover hand. Um, I don't. I don't have a hand, dude. If it's fucking alpha as fuck to grab the waist, dude. Dude, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but like, if if I'm like a famous person and I'm like in a spot, like I'm, I'm gonna hover. I'm gonna fucking hover hand. I'm not. I'm not gonna have any conspiracy about if, my if, ass. If dude. I'm famous, I'm grabbing them by the pussy every time. I fucking apparently you can get away with it if you're rich and famous, bro. Um, a, a fun little thing that we can talk about for the last topic on Onisan is Chris Hansen's fucking weird now, boys. I don't you know. Misspelled if you misspelled guys... Onision, by the way. It, there's an I. It's Onision. What I did? It's O-I-L-N-I-S-O-N. No, it's O N I S I O N. Onision. This is fucked then. Okay, I O N? Is that what you're saying? It's. Yeah, I O N. Dude, this sucks. Onision. I, mean, I should have I should, I should, I should just done this. I should have just done this in post. Okay, um. So yeah, Chris Hansen's fucking weird now. Uh, let me get rid of this. Uh, what do you mean he's weird? Problems. Okay, so Chris Hansen lost his job. He basically scammed the fuck out of people, scammed the fuck out of the Oof. government, went bankrupt, lost his job, and now, so, so you're saying that Chris Hansen's uh, uh, fucking investigating Onison. He's doing this for his YouTube channel because Chris Hansen <laughs> is now a YouTuber. This Why is, is Chris Hansen a YouTuber? He's a YouTuber. How do you make that a YouTuber? He does his own jo- so he does that job now, dude. So, so yeah, like, does he just do what he used to do on yes, YouTube? Yes, but now? he's a YouTuber now. That's his content. His YouTube. Oh like, imagine God. if Mark Potter started investigating pedophiles. It's the same thing. He's a YouTuber. So it, it's fucking weird as <laughs> shit, right? So now he's doing he's doing this shit for his YouTube channel. But the thing is, he has all of his old contacts. Like he's still he's still up to date. He still works with the police and stuff. But instead of instead of doing it for Dateline and NBC, he's doing it for he's doing it on a on a YouTube channel. Yeah. And, and so he's doing this shit. Redemption like, arc. So, it's a redemption arc. Yeah. So he's like <laughs> so he that basically make him he's, money. No, not yet. Because he's he's that's why he's doing this. He's being like a magnet towards these big names. Like all these people are like fuck on his son. Like all this shit's happening. So basically, like a fucking like a fly to shit. Chris Hansen's going around and basically fucking trying to trying to insert himself into all these big stories, which is why it's it's so funny. 
I mean, he's trying to do good, but at the same time, he's trying to blow up as a big YouTuber, you know? It's a hard workout there. So, but but right before this, he went after Ice Poseidon, which is funny because, because uh, this is how I learned about this. He's going after, like, big YouTubers because... Ice Poseidon got accused of grooming somebody in his Discord. So Ice, so Chris Hansen went after Ice Poseidon and tried to get the, uh, tried to go, uh, like get the police after him too, and, and uh, like got thousands and thousands of views on his YouTube channel and did interviews with a bunch of Ice Poseidon's people. Then went, then he went after, went after you only use me blade one of Ice Poseidon's friends for like raping this chick during one of Ice Poseidon's shows, which actually happened by the way. Ice Poseidon's fallen off horribly. And he's doing hobo fights, and like people are getting raped in his show now. But either way, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, this chick got really fucking drunk, and like this guy brought her to the back of his like his tour, like the tour bus they're driving around, and and, and then Chris Hansen fucking interviewed him. But either way, Chris Hansen's fucking a YouTuber now and doing this crazy shit, man. That's awesome. Yeah, and so that's I what mean, he's doing. He's he's doing this for his YouTube channel, and he's basically I don't know like, how I feel about free, this. He's, like, free, he's freelance detective working basically. It's it's funny, I, pretty much. But it's, it's also it's weird. interesting. But like, I don't know. If this is like a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know how to feel about it. You know what I mean? Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Sorry, I, I'm I mute myself for the thing, so you can just not acknowledge it. But uh, yeah, um, yeah. I I just I just I just find it very very funny that Chris Hansen from Dateline NBC is a fucking YouTuber now. Like that's just his career. Imagine it. I don't know, dude. Like, I, I, I never grew up watching Chris Hansen. I didn't really it's know. It's a about, very like, shady I, show. It's the definition of entrapment, but you know, wink, wink. It's not really entrapment, but yeah. yeah. Like, I've always known about him a little bit, but like, I've never really watched what he did. So I have like almost no opinion I, about. I him. can't watch it. It's show. funny I, as fuck. I, though. I can't watch that show anymore. It's so cringe. It's like it's like the UK version of The Office for me. I used to be able to watch it when I was a kid. It's like yeah, fuck those guys when I watched it. I'm like, oh god, it's so dude. fucking like. These guys came here to diddle kids, and now they're getting fucking exposed, and it's so cringe, and those guys, like, are seeing their life flash before their eyes, like, 20 years in fucking federal prison, and they're just like, oh, it's so fucking cringe, man. Everything about it, I mean, whatever, it's I getting know. rid of pedophiles, so I, I mean, I'm, a personally, I'm personally for it, you know, but I think it yeah. is kind of entrapment, of but course. it's okay entrapment. I mean, it's like, fuck, you're like, oh, God, it just gives me shivers, like, those guys are so fucked, and they're publicly expo exposed on te television, too. I know the the meme about take a seat, take a seat right there. Why don't you take a seat? Oh yeah, I mean yeah, good yeah. Meme. And do you Very know do you know do you know why they, they, how it works, John? Yeah, yeah. So the uh, they they pose as a child online, uh, basically lure a guy to them somewhere, and then Chris Hansen walks out when they expect a child, and he goes, "Hey, take a seat. Yes, take a seat right over there." Ugh. And then they talk. And then I guess I don't really know. I guess they go to jail. I don't really know. Yeah, they have that. a he had had this kind of conversation with this guy for as long as possible, and the guy's getting uncomfortable. Like you can leave at any time. No one's keeping you here. You can leave at any time. You knowing full well as soon as he's out of that door, fucking twenty police officers are gonna tackle his dude, ass. Do you know time. like if I walk in and Chris Hansen's like take a seat, I'm walking out. Like if that ever happened, you know. You're like, so fucked. <laughs> well, well, don't don't put yourself in a position where. Oh, so yeah, you're yeah, 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 First of all, first of all, yeah. John thinks yeah. at some point in life he might be in a situation where he might run into Chris person. Hansen. Just don't be a terrible person. You're fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying, if I was <laughs> that pedophile there for whatever reason. <laughs> Why not just walk away? Like, if you're going to get fucked, why be on TV getting fucked? Why not just get fucked off TV? Yeah, get fucked off TV. No, true. Also, Chris Hansen does a uh, fucking... Uh, a lot of celebrities do this, by the way. I didn't even realize how broke celebrities are that they need to do this. But you can do, like, you can give 20 bucks to Chris Hansen, and he'll give you, like, a video message. I don't know if you've seen this before. A lot of celebrities do this. Like, a lot of football players do this, and a lot of, like, uh... Like, like, like fucking... What's his name? Uh, Charles... Charlie... Charlie, the fucking two and a half men... Um, Charlie Sheen. Sheen. Charlie Sheen. Charlie yeah, Sheen. You, know, you, know, you pay like fifty bucks to get Charlie Sheen and give you like a video message. By the way, yeah, you you, you get like a video message of like for like twenty bucks. Give Chris Anthony twenty bucks. He'll like to be like, hey, uh, John, how about you have a seat right here? And then he's be like, I want to wish you a happy birthday. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like that, yeah, yeah. That's that's easy money though. It's easy yeah, money. It's yeah. easy. Yeah. It's easy money, but like. Like, like, how, what type of financial situation you got being Chris Hansen that you're like, hey, give me 20 bucks, I'll make a video message for you. You know what I mean? It's not like Tom Cruise is ain't doing that shit ever, you know? Why do you think you have, like, the premium Snapchat people, you know, around? Ooh. Like, 
Easy money. I have premium Easy chats. Money. I have a premium chat Snapchat because people pay a hundred bucks a month for me to just see pictures of my butthole. That's why I have premium Snapchat. Uh, the thing is, people actually would. Yeah. Like, like really? they would give women a hundred dollars. Oh, I think really like for me, I'm like, oh. Well, I mean, like, really? if they're you, I think they would do Why it. Why am I like, streaming on yeah. Twitch, guys? I mean, because you want the whole fucking Dude, ball. dude, just, uh, just put your premium Snapchat in your Twitch bio and get people looking at your bubble you for $100 a week. You can't do that anymore, sadly. You can't link to Patreon or, uh... Really? You can link to Patreon, but you can't have, you can't have nudes on Patreon, which is why you have Patreon okay. in the first place. So, yeah, you can't link, you can't link okay, to, Okay, uh, so, what you do is, you link to your Patreon, which links to your premium Snapchat... Can do that, yes. But that you only but then can I get access to if you get a certain tier on Patreon. Yeah, but then I can't fucking have butthole pics on my Patreon. Yeah, but like, you can't link to that Patreon anyway. Dude, so you I already butthole... linked to my Twitter. I'm just going to put everything on my Twitter. I'll have a, I got all my links paid. I don't think you can put butthole pictures on your Twitter, my man. You can. Well, no, I'm not going to. Okay, for one, I'm not going to put butthole pictures on my Twitter. My Twitter is for people to be informed about my streams and stuff. No, no, I'll, on my Twitter, on the, you know, little fucking link section, I'm going to link my Patreon. Ah, and on your Patreon will be your Snapchat to see no, your No, I'm going to have my, pa my Snapchat on, okay, whatever. We're, we're, go we're going into stupid territory. I think we're pretty much done. <laughs> There's a couple of things I want to do before we wrap up. Um, okay, okay. Like, uh, fi like, fi like film like a little fake commercial or something. Uh, or two, two, two little fake commercials we can just do real quick and cheesy and we get done there. And also, uh, stop doing that, John. It's fucking it's so distracting. Uh, sorry. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll probably just after this stream, uh, I'll, I'll immediately start editing the video. It'll be easy. Um, it'll be really quick. Okay, I'll probably, I'll probably upload the video on YouTube. Uh, and then, um, Jesus Christ, John, you're fucking so distracting with the, the stop. Holy fucking shit, you're like a 12 year old. I swear to God. Shower's, he's like a fucking squirrel. You can't, you can't distract him. Just I'm just throwing bottle right. caps. He can't do it. I, I'm trying to like lead like like a river. Like I'm trying to flow this conversation like a fucking like a good host. You know what I mean? I'm trying to like, flow. You guys don't. You guys, you guys don't have to flow the conversation. You know, I'm trying to. Okay, so hey, we're, we're all we're, hosts. Yeah, we're, we're all we're all hosts. Oh yes, potential guests. Do you guys want to talk about this on the show, or do you want to talk about this after the show, or? Something or do you, um, do you want to talk about like our entrapment method for getting a guest? Because I uh, would like the, the, let's mention that we will have potential guests in the future, but let's talk about how we get the potential guests and who after. Okay, oh, that's fine. Okay, so uh, basically what we're talking about right now, uh, for for the podcast listeners right now, and uh, in the future who are watching on YouTube, hopefully we'll get at least one. <laughs> we will, we will, because I'm gonna clickbait the shit out of this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna Google podcast what it's called SDIs. Or whatever the tags that you add that you throw on there to like get fucking clicks, we're gonna get we're gonna get views. Don't worry about it. Plus, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna whore out to every Discord. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's a good podcast. I feel good about this podcast. But either way, we're, gonna, we're, we're this is going to be. Uh, see, notice how there's like a really shitty fucking square right here. I don't know how to do this. Uh, you can't see it. I can't move my mouse over it. Either way, um, we're gonna have a fourth guest every week. We're gonna try to help have a fourth guest every week. Um, preferably there'll be a streamer, but if not, we can probably add like a friend or something. Maybe we get Grant on here for a week or something. You know, maybe we'll add somebody who wants to be on here. They can add content. Preferably we'll have streamers on here for a while. So we can, uh, integrate our communities and other streamers, you know. Gotta link it after my league matches. Yeah, I can link it after my league matches. It's funny. You don't have to talk shit, Randall, okay? It's just because I whore out my Twitch channel after my league matches is amazing. Okay, but either way. Um... Yeah, I think that's it. I think I think it's good. I think it was a good podcast today. I had fun. We had a good, good topics. Um, from now on, I enjoyed it. If you guys see something that you guys want to talk about, just jot it down. We can add it to the uh, uh, list of sure. next week's topics. Hey, do you do you want to have a Google Docs um, where Google people Docs? can like like some submission form where like yes. if people want to submit something, they can do it, and we can look at it and be like, oh, that's a good topic to talk that's about. That's a great idea. We can do that right after the podcast. Yeah, Alex, we're, wrap we're wrapping up, dude. Okay. Gonna wait, you motherfucker. Gonna wait, gonna wait. We're wrapping up. <laughs> We're wrapping up, and you can't, can't just you can't wait one second. All right, uh, but yeah, um, it's all we're done. It's all we're done. Okay, no, 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 we're, we're wrapped up, guys. I'm out. We're gonna, yeah, ah, let's fucking leave. We're, yeah, we're not. We're, okay, we're not quite done yet. We're, we're we're almost done. Not done quite yet. We will be here every Saturday, 3 p.m. Uh, Central, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, my time. Uh, okay, we'll be here every Saturday. So. Uh, I want to appreciate all the follows I got today. We got a couple follows, believe it or not, so that's pretty cool. No one spoke in chat besides Randall, but that's fine. It's whatever. Um, 
Uh, yeah, we appreciate all that. We'll be back next week with their most catchy topics.